We just read the book A Color of His Own by Leo Leone, and now we're going to make our own landscape scenes for our chameleons to live in. So I'm drawing a forest with a big mushroom, some leaves on the ground, and some trees in the background. And a landscape scene is anything outside. So you can pick any sort of outdoor scene. It could be a snowy day, it could be a beach, a desert, anywhere you think your chameleon would enjoy living. So you're going to draw your landscape with your Sharpie marker first, and then we're going to go over those Sharpie marker drawings with our liquid watercolors. Now the fun thing about the liquid watercolors is you can blend the colors on your paper. You don't want to blend them in the paint canisters because then all of our paints might turn brown. So notice that between colors, I'm washing off my brush with the water. So let's not double dip into our paints because then we're only going to have brown paint left and that's not fun. So wash off your brush in between colors and then you can switch to another color. And the other fun thing about these liquid watercolors is they're fun to mix. So I'm starting with all yellow on my ground, but then I want to make some leaves orange and maybe some leaves green. So I'm going to blend in other colors to that yellow. So I'm making some orange leaves by mixing reds and yellows and some green leaves by mixing the yellow with some blue. And I'm going to make some brown earth mixing the purple into that yellow. Alright, when that watercolor scene is done, put it on the drying rack and we're going to start coloring our chameleons like you see me doing right now. So I'm using markers to color in my chameleons and I want my chameleons to match the landscape that they live in. So this first chameleon is going to be reds and oranges and yellows to match the ground that I just painted. And I'm putting some spots on him because he's sitting on that spotted mushroom just like in the book. So you can add some designs too, that's fun. And your two chameleons can match like in the end of the book or they can be different because there are different colors and different parts of your landscape painting. So this one's going to sit on my orange leaves and my red mushroom, but I think my other chameleon might be back in the forest. So I'm going to make greens and blues, I think, for him. Don't forget to cap all of your markers before you put them back. All right, so I'm going to get out some greens and blues because he's going to be in front of the trees in the sky. And remember, the chameleon changes colors wherever he goes. So look at your painting and decide where you want to put your chameleon and then color him those same colors that you used in your painting. I'm going to make him striped because I think it'll look nice. And there's some stripes of greens and blues in the back of that painting I just did. So take your time with this. Try and color in the lines if you can. And then when we're done coloring this chameleon, we're going to cut him out and paste him on our landscape painting. So I made a dotted line around the chameleons. You can follow the dotted line, or you can even go closer to the chameleon if you can get right up against him. Notice how I'm turning my paper. Instead of turning my hand, I'm flipping the paper around to make it easier to cut. There you go, one chameleon's done. And now the second. Flip that paper around so you can get a good angle to cut from. Okay, now we're going to paste them on the landscape painting. Don't forget your painting needs to be dry before you do this. And my first guy's in front of the mushroom and the leaves because he's the orange. Now go slowly around the outside of your chameleon. Make sure the whole edge gets glue. And then a little bit in the middle too. And see I'm capping my glue stick when I'm done with it. And then press down to make sure he's stuck. Now you can do other landscapes too, like a rainbow. 
Anything you want is fine. Have fun.